Hello everyone, so I don't usually make these kinds of videos, but I have a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about with the new Black Clover leaks because it's absolutely insane. And I'll give you a quick summary of it right now in case you haven't read it yet. So it basically starts off with Yuno's mom appearing, and her and some other people want Yuno to rule over the Spade Kingdom, but Yuno confirms that he won't be staying there. It is then revealed that the clock tower has not been ticking this whole time, and it has only just resumed. The chapter cuts to Julius' office, and Julius feels uneasy and thinks that something doesn't add up. Domnatio appears and presents research to Julius, revealing that Magicula was actually a replacement and not originally part of the Cliffoth tree. The three devils who actually rule the underworld are Lucifero, Beelzebub, and Astaroth, who is the time devil. Domnatio notes that the only person in the world who's ever used time magic was Julius. Julius then reveals that he is indeed the devil host for the Time Devil before transforming into his true adult form and killing Domnatio. His coverless grimoire folds over into a regular grimoire with two spades on it. Adramalek shows up holding Lucifero's heart and says that everything turned out the way Julius said it would. It is now also revealed that Julius is the fourth Zogratus sibling and his name is actually Lucius Zogratus. And that's pretty much where the chapter ends. This chapter is obviously very mind-blowing because a lot of people were disappointed with this arc and thought that the arc was already over and that nothing else was going to happen, and then Tabata just drops this amazing chapter. I'm honestly so happy about this chapter because this was exactly what Black Clover needed. I always appreciate it when authors include plot twists like this, and this actually explains a lot of Julius's actions in the past, like him specifically recruiting Yami and William, who happened to be the two people needed for the Cliffoth tree, and why he didn't want to kill William in the elf arc. My theory is that Lucius somehow did something to create the genuine identity of Julius, which would explain why when we sometimes hear Julius's inner monologues, there's not really anything suspicious about them, and it would also explain why Julius was able to blend in so well without raising any suspicions. But at the same time, he had to make it so that Julius's actions are still beneficial to his goal. In the chapter, we see Julius's coverless grimoire sort of flip over to reveal the spade symbol on the cover, so since Lucius slash Julius only has one grimoire, I'm pretty sure they're the same person, but we can't know for sure at this point. I'd like to point out that Julius seemed genuinely shocked and mortified when he realizes his connection to Astaroth. This indicates that Julius was not at all aware of who or what he actually was. At the end of the chapter, we see Lucius say, Time's up, which could mean a lot of things, but it's possible that there was some sort of time limit for the persona of Julius, which is why Julius was abruptly cut off while talking. I also want to note all of the foreshadowing that went into this. For example, in the second opening, we see them show all the captains and Julius, and they all have white backgrounds except for Gelder, William, and Julius. As you probably know, Gelder and William were both traitors, so not only was it foreshadowing Gelder and William's actions, but it was also already foreshadowing Julius's as well. Which is crazy because this opening came out years ago. Another example is Julius seemingly having two magic types. He has time magic, and he also has the ability to transform into completely different people, which would possibly indicate another magic type. And as we know, devil hosts have their original magic type, as well as the magic of the devil that they have. Many people suspect that he may have brain magic or soul magic, since the other siblings have bone, blood, and body magic. And I can see brain or soul magic having a relation to transformation, so I think it makes sense. In addition to this, Julius's past has always been very mysterious. We've never seen him from before he joined the Magic Knights, and we also know nothing about his family. Most magic in Black Clover is hereditary, and Julius's last name, Nova Crono, further implies that his family has time magic. Yet we have never seen or heard anything about the Nova Crono family, despite them seemingly having such rare and powerful magic. Something that I wonder is if Astaroth has something to do with the Zograta siblings seemingly not aging at all since they overthrew the Spade Kingdom 17 years ago. Xenon and Vanica both easily look like they could be teenagers, despite being in their late 30s or early 40s. Dante does look a bit more mature, but he is the oldest out of the Dark Triad and he still looks pretty young for his age. It's also very suspicious that none of the Dark Triad have their official ages listed anywhere, despite being pretty important characters. And so I feel like the Time Devil may have played some part in this. I know some people suspect that they're time travelers, but at this point, I really don't know. But it is something that I hope they explain in the future. There's going to be a three-month hiatus, but I honestly can't wait to see what happens when Black Clover returns. I think the next arc has a ton of potential, and I'm guessing we'll get to see a lot more of Lucius and Adramalek and what they've been planning this whole time. And I'm really just curious as to what exactly their goals are. 
We know in chapter 310, Lucius talks about how they plan to destroy everyone and be reborn into undying bodies in order to create a new spade kingdom. So I assume the next arc will have something to do with that. Either way, I'm excited for what's to come in the future, and I know this three month hiatus will feel like an eternity, but I think it's good because it allows Tabata to properly plan and come up with ideas for the arc. And yeah, that's pretty much it, and let me know what you think about the new chapter or what your predictions are, and I'll see you guys later.